اوكي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم جميعا يشرفني ان ارحب بكم جميعا فردا فردا في افتتاح مشروع تعليم طلاب الطب في غزه It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the launch meeting of the Gaza Educate Medics scheme. Uh, today we will have a number of speakers talking about the scheme and we are honored to have with us uh, the deans of the uh, both Islamic University and Al-Azhar University uh, who will be able to speak to us later. We will also be demonstrating the platform that we will be using as part of the gym scheme for delivery of the education. And at the end, we will have a question and answer session for anybody and everybody who has any questions to uh, ask. Uh, my name is Mahmoud Lubani. I'm a consultant cardiothoracic surgeon who honorary professor of cardiothoracic surgery for Hull in UK, um, who chair of Palmed uh, Academy, who is the gym scheme steering committee. أه فحبدا في بس استعراض أه البرنامج أو just start by explaining the program and how it will work for the future. So the Gaza Educate Medics uh, scheme uh, is being Uh, spearheaded by Palmed Academy, but with the support of a lot of individuals and their contributions, which will not be uh, not acknowledged. Uh, the objectives of the scheme are threefold. Uh, preservation of the two medical schools in Gaza and support their resilience against the destruction of education. Support the medical students to progress with their study to become the future healthcare workforce in Gaza. And to support the medical schools and students until the universities are recovered and able to take over completely. The delivery of the education is going to be through a bespoke platform containing all the educational material for both universities with access for all the students and the faculty and obviously the deans. The educational material is aligned with the curriculum of the universities. A lot of it will be from teaching material that was used by the universities but will be supplemented where there are gaps. All students will register on the platform and have their e-portfolio where they can uh, upload their evidence of completion of different modules and different placements. The clinical training in Gaza will be led by the medical schools in Gaza supported by GEM. And today I'm delighted to hear that uh, Dr. Anwar has already started uh, that in Gaza to coincide with today's launch. The clinical training outside of Gaza will be led by GEM, supported obviously by the medical schools and accredited by the medical schools at the end of the day. Fundraising activities will have to be uh, organized to support the two medical schools and the students. We are working and have had some success in the provision of IT equipment and hopefully facilitation of internet access. The scheme, as I said, is supported and accredited by the deans of both medical schools. We first introduced the scheme in the 9th of March, 2024, and then we opened it to student reg registration on the 29th of March, 2024. And the advert was disseminated through uh, social media and our platforms. The IT platform has been constructed. Um, we are continuing to work on plans for clinical placements. Um, within Gaza and outside of Gaza. The scheme has been presented to a number of UK and international meetings and has been quite well received. All the faculty volunteers had been uh, contacted and assigned to different committees, which I will show you in a minute. And all the students that have registered with us have been contacted and their registration confirmed. We are in the process of appointing an administrator for the scheme. The Structure of the scheme is going to be through a board of directors, which will contain the, the deans and a deputy, the president of Palmed Europe and the chair of Palmed Academy, plus the chief executive officer of the scheme. The executive committee will be chaired by the chief executive officer, which will enforce uh, or uh, execute the 
strategic direction uh, given by the board of directors. And also the board of directors will be responsible for the uh, approval of budgets and financial matters, but the executive committee will execute that. The executive committee will have representations from all the partner organizations, as well as the chairs of all of the committees that are within the structure. Faculty committee, IT committee, assessment and evaluation committee, student engagement and mentorship committee, module recovery and design committee, clinical placements committee, fund raising committee, standards and governance committee, as well as, of course, public relations and media committee. Our partners so far is obviously PalMed Europe, uh, the Palestinian American Medical Association, North American Arab Medical Association, Al Quds Foundation for Medical Schools in Palestine, Oxfam, Gaza Health Initiative, Lecky, which is an IT equipment and access uh, charity, and obviously the uh, main contributor to the platform is Greater Translogic Advisory Service, and we will be meeting uh, the representative later on. When we opened the scheme, we had, since we opened the scheme, we had 180 faculty volunteers. Half of them are from the UK and the other half are from around the world. And they will be augmenting the faculty of the medical schools who will be doing most of the delivery of education. But the faculty will support them, will substitute for them if not possible, and also provide material and teaching that may not be uh, accessible at the moment. And all these volunteers are in committees uh, which they uh, volunteered for, and these, vol these committees will be augmented by members from the uh, both universities uh, and start action and start working on delivering of the targets that they will be set uh, next week. With regard to the students that have registered with us on the scheme, we have 1,906 medical students registered from both universities, 1,000 from uh, Al-Azhar University Medical School, and 906 students from the Islamic University of Gaza. 56% of these are female. And the distribution of the students uh, per year uh, is shown in this graph, and you can see that the biggest numbers are in year three and four, followed by year two and five. Uh, year six is reasonable. The lowest numbers are in year one, which is possibly explained by the fact that these students were at the initial stages of their training and they might have moved elsewhere. Where are the students currently? Um, 79%, nearly 80% are still in Gaza. 16.4%, uh, 313 students are in Egypt, and the 75 students are distributed across the world. This is a complicated graph, and I'm not going to waste too much uh, explaining it, but it's just to show where the students are for each of the universities for each year. Uh, so we have that data, uh, and you can see the green here, for example, uh, shows Al-Azhar students in Egypt. And you can see there's more Al-Azhar students in Egypt compared with the Islamic school students in Egypt, which is in blue. And so that allows us to see where, this, where the students are with, with which university. And the students across the world are distributed all the way from uh, America, across Europe, the Middle East, uh, the Far East, and up to Russia. So there is the students everywhere at the moment. But we also are more focused on the clinical st students, which are year four, five, and six. So we want to have a look at them. And uh, the majority of them, 700, there is a total of 952 students in year four, five, and six of both medical schools. Uh, the majority, 737, are still in Gaza, only 177 uh, in Egypt, and 38 are across the world. And if we break this down a little bit further, we can see uh, which year uh, and which university 
uh, do these students belong to, uh, both in, in Gaza and in Egypt and across the world. We also had some information of when the students registered on the 2nd of May, where the students are residing in Gaza, but this is likely to have changed with the recent upsurge in violence. So the GEM scheme is an umbrella organization, umbrella scheme for all interested individuals and organizations to contribute to the delivery of medical education to the students in Gaza. It's been endorsed and accredited by the deans of the Al-Azhar and the Islamic University Medical University's Medical School. Its success is not dependent on a single person or a single organization. It is dependent on all our contributions to make it a success to deliver medical education for the medical students in Gaza, of Gaza, and also to ensure the survival of the medical schools uh, of Gaza. The, this project obviously requires a lot of financial and logistical support and all contributions are welcome and will be uh, gratefully received. Thank you very much for listening to me. Um, I will end the here and uh, I will ask uh, Dr. Riyad Masharka, uh, the president of Palmed Europe, uh, to say a few words. Thank you. Should I start, Professor Albani? Yes, please. Uh, hello, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I just want to start with a few words in Arabic, then I'll turn in English. بداية كل التحية لزملائنا الكرام عمداء كليات الطب في غزة دكتور أنور الشيخ خليل ودكتور محمد زغبر ومساعديهم الكرام كل التحية لهم والتقدير وكل التحية لزملائنا أطباء المستقبل طلاب الطب في غزة الذين قدموا دورا بطوليا في هذه المعركة حيث كان لهم دور كبير في إسناد المستشفيات لمسته شخصيا ولمسه كثير من زملائي الذين ذهبوا في وفود إلى غزة طلاب الطب أصبحوا أطباء قبل أن ينهوا دراستهم كل التحية لهم وكل التقدير للدور الذي قاموا به كثير من الأقسام في المستشفيات كانت مرتكزة على هؤلاء الطلاب أخص بالذكر قسم جراحة التجميل في المستشفى الأوروبي ثمانية من الطلاب كانوا العمود الفقري للقسم دون أي مبالغة وحقيقة لمسنا كم كان مستواهم العلمي مقارنة بكثير من الطلاب الذين نحتك بهم بشكل متكرر إما من خلال عملنا في المستشفيات أو من خلال متابعتنا لهم فكل الشكر والتقدير لهم على هذا الدور وهذا البرنامج جاء بمبادرة من تجمع الأطباء الفلسطينيين بأوروبا عبر أكاديمية التجمع كعرفان لهذا الدور الرائد لهؤلاء الطلبة نتمنى أن نوفق أن نساعدهم حتى ينهوا دراستهم وهم موجودين في أرض القطاع ومن استطاع منهم في الخارج أن يخرج لن نقصر معه أيضا كل هذه المبادرة كما ذكر الدكتور لوباني كانت بالتعاون مع عمداء الكليات نحن نهدف لإبقاء هذه الكليات قائمة إلى الأبد بإذن الله تؤدي دورها الذي يشهد له من قبل خريجين الطب من جامعة من جامعات غزة تبوّوا العدد من المراكز الطبية العليا في كثير من الدول والكل يعلم أن مستواهم العلمي كان مميزا ويشهد له فهذا البرنامج إن شاء الله سوف يكون رديف لهذه الكليات وليس بديل لها وأنا يعني هنا أتكلم بكل صراحة ووضوح أننا نسعى لمساعدة الطلاب حتى يقوموا بخدمة المجتمع الفلسطيني نحن نتمنى إن شاء الله أن تتوقف هذه الحرب المسكورة في القريب العاجل ويعود القطاع إلى عافيته وتعود هذه الجامعات ولن يتكلف أحد أي شيء إن شاء الله سوف نبذل قصارى جهدنا لمساندة الجميع كنت أحب 
ان يعني اتكلم للجميع باللغه الانجليزيه للتعريف بتجمع الاطباء الفلسطينيين في اوروبا. I would like just sorry to, to thank everybody who has contributed to this project. Um, we are Palmed Europe and Palmed Academy is a branch of Palmed Europe. And we have about eight branches across Europe. And uh, the academy is now affiliated to the, all the branches. We have united all the effort in this academy. And before the, the war, we were having uh, uh, continuous medical education programs, which has to, to be postponed to give the priority to this uh, vital project. And we are hoping that with your help and contribution and support, we will be able. I was just telling the student and assuring them that we will continue to support them till they achieve their degree and continue their career. And we are hoping on them that they will continue uh, serving Gaza uh, community. Gaza will be in need, as everybody know, for a lot of support for a long time, especially in the health sector. Every sector in Gaza has been damaged badly. But I think everybody agree that the health sector was targeted in purpose. We have lost it over 500 of our colleagues there from the health sector. And many of them are very prominent professors and doctors in their fields. And we are hoping that, you know, this new generation will, will, will act hard work as the previous generation. And we will have a lot of fantastic doctors in the future. I would like to thank Professor Lobani for his efforts on this project and also uh, the deans and their associate and assistant. They were all, you know, very helpful and separate, you know, without them, this project could not have been, you know, started. And we, we are just starting today, by the way. We are not uh, saying that, oh, everything is okay. We are very clear. We are working very hard in what Professor Lubani has mentioned. We are aiming to get the computers, laptops, the internet, support for the clinical placement inside Gaza and outside. We are working hard on this and we are hoping that everything will go ahead as scheduled. And we, we are taking this opportunity to ask for everybody who wanted to help Gaza medical student to collaborate with us in this vital project and to support it by all means. We need everybody to help in this project. I don't want to take much more of your time. Thank you again for everybody and for everybody who contributed. There are some people we know, some people we don't know. And a special thanks for the South African um, uh, company who has donated this uh, platform. And I hope it will be working soon. Thank you very much. And I hope you will enjoy the rest of the uh, program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Riyad uh, Mashaka. Appreciate your kind words. Um, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Mohamed Riyad Zobar, if you would like to talk to us from the Dr. Azhar. Dr. Zobar, can you unmute and talk to us? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammad al-Nabi al-Amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. مرحبا بكم جميعا ضيفا ضيفا واهلا وسهلا بكم بهذا المساء الفلسطيني الجميل رغم الجراح يقول الامام الشافعي رضي الله عنه لا اعلم علما بعد الحلال والحرام ام بل من الطب اليوم يوم مثالي بعد هذه الحرب المسعورة على أبناء الشعب الفلسطيني ومقدراته وجامعاته وبالأخص الكليات الطبية حيث نستذكر اليوم أعضاء هيئة التدريس الذين استشهدوا من كلا الكليتين في جامعة الأزهر والجامعة الإسلامية والطلاب الذين استشهدوا حيث وصل أعداد الشهداء في كلية الطب وحدها في جامعة الأزهر إلى 12 شهيدا غير الجرحى والإسلامية طبعا يوجد عندهم أيضا مثل هذا العدد ويمكن أكثر أو أقل وأعضاء هيئة التدريس شهداء أيضا اليوم نحن نشكر من قام بهذا العمل الكبير 
والمجهود المتواصل الذي استمر لهذه اللحظة تحضيره منذ أكثر منذ خمسة شهور والعمل الليل نهار دون توقف من قبل رئيس تجمع أطباء في أوروبا الدكتور رياض والدكتور رئيس أكاديمية بالميد دكتور محمود والدكتورة لبنى وآخرين كانوا على اتصال يومي ومباشر ويقضون عشرات الساعات في الأسبوع من للحظة الوصول إلى هذه اللحظة وهي انطلاقة مشروع بالميد لاستمرارية تعليم طلاب كليات الطب في الجامعة الأزهر والجامعة الإسلامية أنا أشكرهم باسمي وباسم العاملين في جامعة الأزهر وبالأخص كلية الطب والطلاب جميعا على هذه المبادرة ونتمنى أن تستمر أنا أعتقد أنه في اللحظات الأولى قد يكون بعض الـ 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 الأشياء الغير واضحة ومن ثم سوف تستمر لأنه يوجد إرادة بين القائمين على العمل وكليات الطب أن تستمر هذا المشروع وأن ينجح لا يوجد أمامنا خيران خيار واحد أن ننجح أو أن ننجح ولذلك من هنا كما قال الدكتور رياض أثبت طلابنا في قطاع غزة أنهم جزء لا يتجزأ من المنظومة الصحية التي تحتاج لهم في استشهاد عشرات العاملين بها بعد الحرب وأثناء الحرب وسوف يكونون اللبنة الأساسية لإعادة بناء المنظومة الصحية على أسس صحيحة وأسس تكاملية نحن نحتاج إليكم في المستقبل ولذلك ليس أنا فقط الوطن يحتاج إليكم وشكرا لكم لحسن الاستماع وأنا هنا أريد أن أتكلم فقط عبارتين باللغة الإنجليزية The Palestinian people always come back from under the rubble and come back stronger and more determined to continue uh, their education, let alone medical students. I am very happy that we have brother and friend on the world who support the Palestinian people. I thank, I, I thank you all from my heart who helped support and will support students and medical colleges. Uh, He stayed up all night to come up with uh, an idea and then beginning implementing it and supporting medical college in Gaza Strip. Thank you, Balmid. Thank you, Dr. Masharqa. Thank you, Dr. Lubani. Thank you, all the committee on Balmid. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, Dr. Zobar, um, Dean of... Uh, Al-Azhar University Medical School for your kind words. Um, I would like to ask uh, now Dr. Anwar Sheikh Khalil, Dean of the Islamic University Medical School, if you would kindly um, say a few words to us and to the students. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. جزاكم الله خير وشكرا جزيلا على هذه الدعوه للتحدث لكم وحقيقه اريد ان اكلم ابنائي وبناتي الطلاب والطالبات في البدايه يعني ابنائي الطلاب وبناتي الطالبات حقيقه في هذا الظرف ندعوكم الى حضور جميع فعاليات الجيم سكيم اللي هي موجوده وندعوكم الى الى الاجتهاد والتحضير لانه حيكون هناك طبعا محاضرات انتر اكتف او تفاعليه بعدين يعني في البدايه بدنا احنا نصبر لانه احنا بلدنا طول عمرها هيك فيها ابتلاءات يعني الحمد لله على سلامتكم كلكم والحمد لله الحاجات اللوسز هذه ان شاء الله ربنا بيعوضها افضل منها باذن الله تعالى ندعو الله ان يشير ان يذهب عنا هذه الغمه وان يرحم شهداءنا ويتقبلهم عنده في عديين وان يشف مرضانا وجرحانا وان يطلق صلاح عصرانا باذن الله ادعوكم الى حضور هذه الفعاليات وان وان تؤكدوا على زملائكم وزميلاتكم على هذا الحضور لاهميته لأن هذا الحضور في النهاية إن شاء الله تعالى باجتهادكم ستأخذون المساقات اللازمة 
لنجاحكم وترفيعكم إلى سنة التي تليها إحنا طبعا هنا في كليات الطب وفي الجامعة الإسلامية حرصنا أن ننضم لمعظم اللجان في في البالميت وفي في مع الجيم سكيم وسواء فهذا هذا الانضمام من اجلكم ولكي نشارك في تسهيل جميع المواضيع والتدريس عليكم ومتابعتها من اجل نجاحكم ان شاء الله وكما حرصت البالميت وجميع الفولنتيرز اللي هم موجودين على احياء ان تو ميك يو سيرفايف تو اور سكول احنا بدنا اياكم تتخرجوا اه كمان كما قال الدكتور رياض اه احنا واثقين انكم حتكونوا اه ممتازين جدا وتخدموا الخدمات تخدموا الصحه هنا وتخدموا شعبكم ومواطنيكم هنا ومتاكدين انكم تاخذوا ان شاء الله سب سبيشاليتيز وتفيدوا البلد اه فيما بعد اه لا يسعني الحقيقه الا اه 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 الآن يتكلم كلمتين بالإنجليزية. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Welcome all to this meeting. I I wanted to speak to our medical students first. Our medical students, we are inviting you all and your all your classmates to attend this gym uh, scheme and activities in in order to pass this year, inshallah Taala. And to serve your people, uh, we will thank all those who are supporting us. You are feeling that you have brothers everywhere in the world. You are now att you will attend the lessons and uh, and lectures. Very big expert all over the world, and th that's why this is good the chance for you to improve yourself and uh, improve your knowledge, uh, even to improve your skills uh, later on. Uh, uh, I will thank everybody who participated in this one, in, the, uh, in these activities. Thanks to Dr. Uh, Mahmoud Lubani for the invitation. Thanks to Dr. Riyad Masharqa. Thanks to Dr. Uh, to Dr. Jihad Ajlouni, Dr. Khalid Dawas, to Dr. Yusuf, Dr. Bilal, Dr. Lubna, Dr. Lean, uh, Dr. Ruba, and all our uh, friends. To Palestine, we thank them all. Thank you very much, and see you. Shukran Jazeel and Doctor Anwar, uh, thank you very much for your for your kind words. Amid Jamal Islamiyah fi Gaza, kulli tuqtab. Shukran Jazeel. Next, uh, I would like to ask uh, Doctor Sagir Lubna Sagir to um, talk about the platform uh, and its development, and then she will be uh, directing the um, demonstration of the platform as it exists at the moment. Thank you, Lubna. Thank you, Dr. Lubani. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Hope everybody is okay. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for everybody attending today's event um, and making it possible for us all to be here. Let me just share my slides. Uh, can you see them? Yes, we can see it, but yeah, now it's in presentation mode. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much. So I'm Dr. Lubna, um, family medicine consultant, working closely with uh, Palmed uh, to make this project where it's meant to be, inshallah, and make it grow through all the connections that we have. Um, and thank you for all the students that have put their trust in the project and their future for for us to help and support and actually gave us the opportunity to be part of something where we can actually make a difference within what's happening in Gaza and safeguard education moving forward. So some of my slides um, will be repetitive of uh, uh, Professor Lubani, so I apologize for that and I will run through them quickly. Um, so first of all, I just want to say that GEM Gaza Educate Medics is the first medical virtual accredited online platform. Uh, again, as Dr. Lubani said, it will serve both of the medical schools. We will do our, our aim is to follow the uh, original curriculum of both the universities. We've been working really hard right now 
to recover as much of the original content as possible in order to make sure that we keep the culture of the learning alive. Uh, accredited platform, and the reason why we're doing this is because um, the students are able to progress through their educational journey, and the in <clears throat> and the institutions are safeguarded. Both of the universities, the medical schools, are safeguarded by having a platform through which education is being delivered. So the official design logo by Salman is uh, uh, in South Africa. He spent his time and he had designed the logo for us, which is acceptable internationally by everyone, is this. This encompasses both of the universities, the, the, the gem, the prosperity and peace represented by the olive trees. Um, and inshallah, this is uh, meaning forward that we give the world the best uh, in terms of what Gaza can deliver. So, as I said, and Dr. Professor Lubani also mentioned this, that we are the first social medical educational enterprise. What that means is that all organizations that are working towards educational liberation are working under one umbrella, one platform. So we all have one voice, one mission, one purpose, which is to educate and liberate doctors that come from, doc uh, from Gaza and to keep the medical schools alive. There are over nine different organizations that have come together under the umbrella. I'm sure there's many more, and I apologize uh, if I've missed anyone out. But just following on from uh, what Dr. Lavani said, you know, organizations that are here, that are involved. Uh, day one, Palmed has been involved, and Palmed has spent day and night in, you know, making the project where it is today and really helping us grow and network. So I'm really grateful to all the work and effort that's gone into it. Um, and then all the partners have come on board uh, over here. You can see, I'm sure I've missed others out and I'm not going to go through each one here, but uh, we are grateful for all your support and solidarity for the mission that we all have, which is to give doctors to the world from Gaza. So localized organizations that we've been in touch with that are within Gaza that have that have wanted to and have shown interest in joining GEM. One is the Palestinian Medical Relief Society. So this is a good network for us to actually build culture and connections within Gaza that's gonna allow us to align to the learning and uh, support the community. Then Gaza Mental Health Program is another initiative, and then the Palestine uh, Counseling Center. These are all based within Gaza and West Bank, and they are uh, very keen to get involved, and we look forward to having their contribution on, on our platform. So GEM is an uh, integrated learning uh, platform, so the academic element will all happen on GEM. So what we mean by this and uh, is year one to three, most of your you know, whole learning element journey is going to be on GEM. This will mean that you'll have all your lectures on GEM, um, all your material that is associated with your learning objectives as per your curriculum outcomes for both the universities will be aligned on GEM. There is also another edition that we're going to have, Intermed, run by Dr. Youssef, um, will be delivering live lectures uh, on the platform. So these live lectures will be covering the basic sciences content, and there will be Q&A sessions attached with the live lectures. They will be available as well um, to be downloaded later. So that adds another element of integration and uh, learning that we can yeah, open up to the students. Um, so most of that will happen there. And even for the senior years, again, the academic content for your uh, interaction and engagement will be on GEM platform. And this will, again, be ensured that it matches the cur curriculum outcomes of both of the universities. There will be elements added on that will, um, as the faculty deem, uh, appropriate in order to add some wholesomeness to the learning. This is more to do with the fact that we, we, we engage you with everything that you're learning through your academic uh, uh, expectations from your universities, but there may be something that would actually elevate some of that, and we're going to add that in as well, so that you get the wholesome learning that you deserve. 
the assessments will be as per the requirements of the medical schools. There'll be written assessments, there'll be MCQs, there'll be OSPs, there'll be simulated patient reviews. Um, and then on top of that, we will have evaluated um, assessments by the medical schools. So all these assessments will go back to the medical schools, uh, school, sorry, to verify that they are happy with the outcomes of the assessments, they uh, deem the student to be competent, therefore they can progress through to the next section. Again, these assessments will, a lot of it is being taken from original, original content, original assessment process that was there. If we are having difficulty in recovering the original content, then we are working with the assessment committee, which is represented by both of the universities, to, to create content that is acceptable for them. And there are other institutions that are involved that are happy for us to share some of their content and learning in order to grow the platform. So again, that is uh, really useful in order to get GEM going and really bring it up to international standards. So in terms of additional support for GEM, module recovery and design team is what um, Dr. Libani mentioned before. So this is a team that's set up specifically to look at the content that we have. So what they aim is to make sure that the content we have aligns with the objectives and outcomes of the universities. And then if there's missing content, which we know there has been some, which the team has been amazing in sharing the content. So we are actually rapidly building up the bank um, and making sure that there are no gaps within the knowledge. So we are really grateful for all of your contributions for that. And thank you for that. Then we have the Student Engagement and Evaluation Committee. So this will be, uh, hopefully led by Oxpal. Oxpal has already been doing work around this. And what we mean by this is students have a direct point of contact um, in terms of um, you know, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with, what could be done better, what more you feel like you need. This will then be directly fed back to the executive committee and then to the board of directors. And it allows us to make the uh, learning more applicable to what your needs are. So there's always a direct communication um, and pathway for that. The governance committee is another umbrella that we're adding in. And this is again to safeguard your learning. If for example, for some reason, you know, you are, you're, you're doing a learning and there's uh, areas of concern that have been highlighted by your supervisors. Um, that mean, means that there is some concern with regard to learning or even connectivity, for example. Anything that comes up, the governance committee will be responsible for managing those concerns, uh, uh, formulating a plan, and again, directing it back to the executive committee so that we safeguard you. If it means that we need to give you more uh, and learning more support um, so that we can get you to progress through your years. That is what we're going to do. So the whole point of GEM is that we are student centered, that we want to make sure that you grow and you get what you need out of this in terms of moving through the years. There will be allocated leads for each year. Uh, for now, we've only done year six, which uh, Dr. Morsheda is our allocated lead. For the others, we are in the process of allocating them. And this will again, give some structure and process moving forward. Uh, and as I mentioned, there will be specific module leads and assessment committees that will be responsible for ensuring that we are meeting the outcomes uh, that are directed by both of the medical schools. So in terms of additional support for students on our platform, we're going to have a mentor scheme which looks at um, uh, specifically assigned mentors to mentees. So these are usually medical students from internationally. Um, this was run uh, by a, a student um, in the UK and we've had good engagement with her team and others that have come forward to support this initiative. I feel this is a very uh, holistic approach and ones that students that have been through the difficulty that all of you have been through would really appreciate and need in times of learning and confidence and support. So we are really keen to get that going and build that in. We will also have educational supervisors assigned to all the students. So these educational supervisors will be responsible for making sure that, you know, if you have any area of concern, if there's difficulty, if other supervisors have raised anything, it will be directed to your main supervisor who's your educational supervisor. The aim is that you meet them three to four times a year 
uh, as a minimum for a, for a meeting in terms of um, what, how you're doing, what you want to do moving forward. Uh, and then they will also give you a, a report at the end, which is then uploaded onto your um, uh, portfolio as, as evidence of uh, engagement and uh, competency. And then per, for the clinical years, we will have the um, clinical supervisors, which will be the assigned supervisors as per the module that you are currently doing. So internal medicine, obviously gynae, pediatrics, you will have uh, assigned supervisors. You will have your clinical logbooks, for which you will then be signed off on. There will be reports. Again, the reason why we are doing this is to make sure that we have objective evidence that we can add to your, uh, your portfolio on GEM, which adds value to the deans and the uh, evaluation committee when it comes to um, signing you off moving forward that you know you have actually been engaging. As I mentioned, the governance process will look after the uh, students in difficulty. And then we'll have a, 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 an option where students can actually network and engage, discuss cases within the platform to allow that connection uh, that you all need um, in order to grow moving forward. So in terms of mental health, mental health and well-being, this is a new addition. This is something that we are doing as part of GEM. Uh, and this is something that we feel that the students need in order to be able to progress through as empowered doctors moving forward. So what we'll have is we will have uploaded resources for self-help. Help. We'll have recorded videos, we'll have live group sessions, and there'll be an option for one-to-one -one support. This will be psychological support as well as nutritional well-being support that's available for the students. Um, and this is going to align with the work that is already being done by the Gaza Community Mental Health Program. So we are hoping to bring them on board and partner with them so they can help guide our Western approaches to mental health and nutrition so that they meet uh, uh, in terms of giving you the best outcomes. But I feel this is a val valuable addition in order to, to prepare you for the world to come. And you are ready and resilient and you know stronger than where you are right now in order to move forward. So this will be very good moving forward. So in essence, what will happen is you log in as a student you will be able to access um, the years that you have completed the work for. You'll start the module that's applicable for your learning at that moment. We, in terms of we, I mean IT, uh, will monitor your engagement and track your progress. Um, this as it will also then be uh, forwarded on. All assessments will also be monitored. Any exams that you do, we will have special inbuilt software that will allow us to monitor uh, engagement um, within that. All logbooks and reflecting learning for all the students will be uploaded on the platform again as evidence. So everything uh, throughout all this process will be available for the deans and the faculty within uh, the medical schools to track live. So they will know how you're doing in terms of your progress, where you are, how we move forward. And then, you know, all being well, everything is okay. We've ticked all the boxes. You are ready to be signed off and progress through your learning in an accredited way, um, which means that there's no kind of loss of years, loss of time, uh, uh, loss of uh, uh, educational um, engagement. So it's all progressive in terms of uh, uh, moving forward. And that's what we want to do. We want to support you to move forward. So this is a quick summary of where we are, what we've done. And I wanted to highlight where we want to be moving forward as well, because we do realize that obviously what we're doing is a dynamic process. Uh, and, you know, just because you graduate at year six does not mean that we then kind of say, bye, go do what you're doing. So what we've been doing is working as an organization to look at ways in which we can support learning and growth. So graduates from both universities will be matched to mentors. You will have career goals and aspiration support. Again, more like a career guidance officer in terms of moving forward about where you want to go. Now, as we mentioned, you know, Dr. Labani mentioned, we have you know support from faculty from all over the world, world right now. So, in terms of expertise, access, um, advice that you have open to you, it's phenomenal in terms of uh, 
what you want out of it. You know, it's more than what you had before and it's more than what other students probably have around the world. So I'm really grateful for for the doors that would open for all of our students that progress through this learning. Uh, and we are gonna, we are working on continual professional learning support uh, and educational learning support moving forward. One other really exciting venture that we're working on is education hubs in Gaza. So we have been approached by two to three groups that are currently working on setting up smaller centers throughout Gaza where students and faculty can meet um, uh, safely, inshallah, um, and, you know, network, discuss cases, um, uh, is a way of social skills building, networking, but also having an area where you can maybe have seminars, some clinical, uh, clinical workshops. So I'm really looking forward to working on that and building uh, uh, towards that. Um, and then, as I said, you know, you are in the best place to utilize the community that you have within GEM to give you the best start possible moving forward. We are also in discussion and in process of making sure that GEM is accredited by all different organizations um, and internationally recognized, um, uh, even locally. For locally would be the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education. Internationally, we are in discussion with WHO and Dr. Anwar has, uh, uh, you know, said he will have to support that as well moving forward. Why do we want WHO recognition? So firstly, it's important for us to have WHO recognition purely in order to safeguard the medical schools. So we know that the medical schools are active and they are providing learning that is on international standards. So when we do get our degrees at the end, they are internationally recognized. That is a fundamental point. Second point is by having WHO recognition, it opens up doors for us in terms of credibility, uh, in terms of other projects, um, acceptance of uh, uh, projects around the world, uh, even in to their own um, internship programs within the United Nations fellowships, as well as the WHO public health fellowships. So uh, we, we believe this will be very important moving forward. And we are invested in giving the platform the best outcome that it can have. As you know, this is an ever growing and ever uh, evolving platform. So as you get your logins and you start learning, stuff will still be continued to happen on the platform in terms of content being added, development happening. So we're grateful for your patience and your support with this. So moving on from this, I would like to pass you on to uh, Moti, who has been very busy developing this um, uh, amazing platform and he'll be able to share uh, further with us. Thank you, Moti, and thank you, everybody. Shukran, Dr. Lubna. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And uh, shukran and thank you very much for the opportunity for us to be part of this amazing group of organization and individuals. Uh, we are very keen to, to see uh, how, we can, how we can assist. Uh, my name is Abdul Moti. I'm from a company called GT Advisory Services. Um, we're from Cape Town in South Africa. Um, and we're responsible for the technology side of the online, in, uh, online platform. So I will jump into it immediately and start sharing my screen. One second. Okay, uh, you can see my screen? Yes. Okay. So what will happen is that we will have a landing page. Uh, I think this landing page will grow. It, it won't be just one page. It will be a landing page for GEM, for Gaza Educate Medics. Uh, that will include, obviously, all the information about GEM, all the information about the partners, all the information about any funders uh, and funding organizations that, that comes on board. Dr. Lubna mentioned the counseling. Uh, uh, that's part of it. Um, some of the information for counseling and some of the, the information for mental health and well-being will also be published on, on, on this. It's a website. Um, and uh, we will obviously put all that information on one place. Uh, the the on one on one website and that is gemedu.online and obviously that information we will make available from here the student will be able to choose whether it's al azhar university or islamic university of gaza please note that the al azhar university has a separate uh, a platform and the the the, the islamic university has a, a separate platform although the functionality of both 
the platforms are the same, uh, but obviously Islamic University is following their curriculum, whereby Al Azhar University is following their curriculum at the end of the day. So the student will uh, log in from here and then go straight to the university login. Uh, I'm, I'm using Al Azhar University as a as a demo. Uh, also note that all the students that has registered with Jim, um, when when the platform is ready for the students to log in, all the students will receive an email uh, with a login link with their usernames and a temporary password. That student will then click on that link, go to the platform, and then have the the uh, ability to change their passwords to what they want it to be, and that's the way they log in. I'm going to log in as a student. Okay, so this is the dashboard. Again, uh, we're just throwing a lot of, of, of information on the dashboard, for instance, uh, and this is the first page that the student will see. Uh, upcoming events, and 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 uh, remember, these are this is just a demo page. So, for instance, semester two starts on Monday, the third of June. Meeting with your doctor on Tuesday, the fourth. Testing of the site on Saturday, the eighth. So you 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 have a calendar as well, and obviously everything that is relevant to that student and to that university will be on that calendar, and the students will get reminders as well. On the next line, overall program progress. There, the student will have the ability to view where he or she is with regards to progress in, 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 uh, on their courses uh, in the year or in the semester. Uh, start courses, the student will be able to just mark certain courses as stars, for instance, the courses that they are busy with that comes up immediately. If there's any announcement specifically from GEM, specifically from the lectures or the deans or the the faculties, they'll be able to put announcements on there. And then the student will be able to, if that student is year one, click on year one. If that student is year two, click on year two. If that student is year three, click on year three in order to go into, into the platform for their year. What's also important is that um, the students will be able to have access to the platform ret retrospectively, meaning if I'm in year three, I have uh, uh, access to the to year two and year one, and that is specifically for uh, reference purposes. The next one will be linked to resources, any resources that may be on there. The university may want to put in plagiarism policies or any other policies that's part of the university for the attention of, of the students. And then just course overviews of what is available. Uh, I'm in year three, I'm doing semester one, and I'm doing the digestive system. I'm going to click on it and immediately within the digestive system, you'll be able to see there's a general tag, then there's anatomy, there's histology, there's physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, pathology, microbiology, immunology. That's all the sub uh, categories that's part of the digestive system for year three, semester one. Again, uh, for just for, for, for this part of the course, there may be announcements and the student can click on there for the announcements. Um, I'm just going to go into one. I'm doing anatomy. I'm going to go into anatomy of esophagus. And part of it is the information that's under it. Um, up, uh, up come the students, uh, the lectures within a PDF format, and the student will be able to go through all the lectures that is possible. The student will also have the ability to download the lecture for their own uh, a, a computer or their own uh, printing, they can also print the, the lectures. Um, what's also nice about uh, what we've done is, uh, like Dr. Lobani also, uh, 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 Dr. Lubna also mentioned, that the, the assessments and all the grading will be done online. For instance, I've just put together a quick demo quiz. They will go into the quiz, I'll say attempt the quiz, and the quiz and all the, 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 the questions will be online. So the student will go through through the quiz. Um, there is 101 ways to set up quiz. There's 101 ways for quizzes to be, to be graded. Uh, there's 101 ways for students to get immediate feedback or the, the feedback can be withheld and then discussed with them at the later stage. So all of that is available online. Also with regards to uh, I think Dr. Lubna also mentioned specific software that will be used 
when students are doing assessments and, 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 and examinations, it's called proctoring. Uh, so the student will unfortunately have to be in front of a device or a, a laptop or PC with a camera, whereby obviously the, the camera is focused on the student while the student is attempting the assessment or the examination. And that way, um, the authentication of the answers and authentication of the student will be will be monitored and it will be approved and graded in, in that way. Um, Dr. Lubna also mentioned about uh, bookings and, and, and uh, the trauma counseling or the counseling Palestinian, the Palestinian counseling center being part of it. If the student or, or if the student has an issue and a, a question that they want to ask specifically uh, on, on, on this topic, they can make a booking with, with their lecturers, they can make a booking with their tutors as well. That's also available immediately. Um, and uh, they will be able to, to make a booking one on one or, or, or group bookings uh, at, the, at the end of the day. With regards to the, the, let me just go back one second. Just want to go back. Let's just go into a, another item. Um, if it's not a PDF document with notes and most of the lecturers use P, uh, uh, PowerPoint slides, the slides are available for the students to download. In, in, and for their own viewing and for their own reference purposes uh, as well. Let me just go back to the dashboard. Um, again, like I said, all the information is available. On the right-hand side, we've made a couple of blocks. Again, students will be able to, to make appointments either with a doctor, with a psychologist, with a counsellor, or uh, very similarly with, with a, a tutor, with, with any assistance, admin assistance, they will be able to do that. Again, the calendar coming up, the students will also be able to manage their own files. And these are just recently accessed items uh, uh, at the end of the day. Um, just with regards to, uh, I think specifically for the, for the universities and the staff of the universities, I just wanna log in as an admin uh, just to show how the reporting works. Give me one second. Just with regards to reports, if the administration from the universities wants to know what a student did for a month, for a week, for whatever, or all uh, 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 engagements with the platform, you'll just be able to say participating, get the logs, and it'll show everything that the student did in order to see and view what the student did uh, on all participation with the with the uh, with the platform, uh, obviously. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. I'm uh, if there's any questions uh, for me at this stage, then I'll be able to answer. No, Mute, I, While I'm on here, if you wouldn't mind finishing your finishing everything you want to show. And then we will see if there's any. Okay, I've, I've, I've basically showed everything from a functionality perspective, uh, 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 Dr. Lubani. Okay, thank you very much for that. So just keep it open just in case if anybody wants to ask any questions. So can we ask Morty to stay around for the question afterwards? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, so thank you very much, uh, Mr. Abrams, for, this is a magnificent piece of work uh, and it is an appreciated effort, especially that it's all being done on a voluntary basis um, in support of the medical schools in Gaza and the medical students. And uh, we, and I'm sure I speak for everybody, um, are grateful for your, all your efforts and your contribution. And we look forward to uh, a fruitful relationship going forward because this project is not just for a month or two, it might be for three, four, five years. And also then uh, this becomes a resource for the medical schools that they can take on and use for the future if they wish to do so, uh, once they are recovered and reestablished. So thank you very much for your contribution. I appreciate that.